All right, so in this video, we're going to find the volume of each of these solids. Uh, and in some of them, we're going to need to use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find uh, some pieces that we need in order to solve. So let's take a look at this cone here. Uh, we know that the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. So it's one third multiplied by pi, multiplied our radius squared, multiplied by the height. So in this case, we don't have the height. We have this slant here, but we don't have the height. So we need to find that. So we know that if this side, if this side is 10, then we know that this side is 10. And we have a right angle here. And so what we notice is we need to, that our h is going vertically and we need to use the Pythagorean theorem. And so since this 10 is across from our right angle, we know that that's our c. So we can say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so let's just make h our a. So h squared plus six squared equals 10 squared. So we have h squared plus 36 equals 64. We can subtract 36 from, oops, I'm sorry, it does not equal 64, it equals 100. And then when we subtract 36, okay, then we get 64. So then h squared equals 64, take the square root of both sides. Our height is eight, because eight times eight is 64. So now that we have that, what we can do is we can use our equation here and plug in what we know. So we see that the volume is 1 third times 3.14 times our radius of eight squared times the height I'm sorry, our radius, wow, apologies. Our radius is six because it's right here. And our height is eight, which is what we just found. So we say volume equals one third times 3.14 times six squared is 36 times eight. And so we will take 3.14 times 36 times 8 and we get 904 so we get one third times 904.32 and then we'll divide that by 3 and get 301.44 and we don't have units so we're just going to say cubic units because we know that a cone is a third the volume of a cylinder, which is here. And to find the volume of the cylinder, it's pi r squared h. All right, let's take a look at this next one, which is a sphere. Actually, it's half a sphere, so which is called a hemisphere. So we start out by, we need to know the uh, how to find the volume of a hemisphere. So we say v equals we know that 4 thirds pi r cubed is for a whole sphere, and then we can just take that and divide it by two. So we say that the volume equals 4 thirds times 3.14 times our radius, which we actually know is right here, it's the five, and we need to cube it, and then divide by two. All right, so we know that five times five is 25, times three is 125, so we can take 4 thirds times 3.14 times 125, all divided by 2. And so then when we look, we say 3.14 times 125. I'm just going to multiply by 4, which is 1,570, divided by 3, all divided by 2. So we'll divide 1,570 by 3 and you get 523.33333 and cut that in half and we get 261.67 again we don't have units so we'll just put the generic cubic units on there okay because volume is always cubed all right finally uh, we have this shape that has a base of a triangle. 
And so we're gonna, we need to find the height of that. And I guess we are missing a measurement here, aren't we? So let's say that this here is also 10. Okay, so there's a tick mark there. Um, all right, so when we see this uh, here, we're gonna cut that in half, and so that's eight. So now we need to find the height. So we need to use the Pythagorean theorem that says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have eight squared plus h squared equals 10 squared, which is 64 plus h squared, which equals 100. Is this looking familiar? A lot like this first one. Um, we're actually gonna find when we subtract 64 from both sides, h squared equals 36, take the square root of both sides, that the height is six. Now to find the volume, we have to take and find the area of our base, which is the triangle, so that's base times height divided by two, multiplied by the three-dimensional height, which is this 10 right here. So let's plug it into our equation. Ver volume equals our base, which we see is 16. Okay, it's that whole thing right there. Multiplied by our height, which is six, divided by two, multiplied by our three-dimensional height of 10. And so then we take 16 and multiply it by six, and we get 96. Divide by 2, multiply by 10, and 96 divided by 2 is 48, and 48 times 10 is 480, again, units cubed, or cubic units. And there are three different kinds of shapes that we can find the volume of. Some of them we needed the Pythagorean theorem.